Hello friends, uh, welcome to Cloudify. In today's sessions, I'm going to discuss uh, how to create a order serverless DB clusters and uh, connect through different procedure. Here are the um, high level uh, steps uh, we'll discuss today. Uh, at the beginning, um, I'll show you that how to connect from a EC2 machine uh, or any kind of VPC resources. And thereafter, I'll show you how to connect uh, from a local machine. And um, on the third steps, uh, I'll discuss that how we can access uh, Aurora serverless DB clusters using the built-in data API. Uh, as you know that uh, using the API, uh, we can access Aurora serverless with web service based applications, including Lambda, AppSync, and Cloud9. So on the fourth point, uh, as a part of the data API, I'll also show you how to connect through uh, Cloud9. Now, um, uh, to create the Aurora serverless DB clusters, um, uh, following points will be discussed, like, you know, uh, along with the uh, server creations in the console mode, like I'll show you the what is, uh, what is a minimum Aurora capacity unit, maximum Aurora capacity units, what is called a t uh, timeout actions, and what uh, the settings we have to put on the pause after inactivity. So I am, uh, in my RDS console. So let me create a database. So I'll choose uh, Amazon Aurora uh, MySQL, you know, version 5.6.5.6 because I'll be choosing this 5.6 because many of these capabilities and the procedures is on for the serverless is only available for 5.6. Okay, here the database features, you can see the multiple features are there, I'll choose uh, serverless. For the capacity setting, it start with the one capacity unit, it is 2 GB of RAM, so I'll be choosing this the minimum one. And for the maximum, there is uh, uh, many limits are there, many level limits are there, but I'll choose the bare minimum, that is 2. That is 2. Um, ACU or a class capacity unit and now for the additional scaling configuration there is something called force scalings the force scaling is something uh, which uh, automatically forcefully uh, uh, scale these things immediately uh, scaling the uh, activities and the second option is the pause compute uh, capacity after consecutive minutes of any activity this is kind of a nice features so whenever there is a no load so automatically after this uh, given uh, time it will uh, reduce to the zero capacity unit so i'm not going to choose the the first one the force force scaling capacity but i am going to choose the second one So I have uh, seen this, uh, this is a 5 minutes is the minimum value, if you choose, try to choose it below 5 minutes, it doesn't take. So I am choosing 5 minutes. Okay, the next point is uh, quite important, this is something a prerequisite, I have to enable it to use the data API. So I am uh, enabling the data API option. Now for the additional configurations, uh, uh, this is something, um, I'll just put a database name. And create database. Now for the um, uh, connectivity options, uh, as I said, the first options I am going to uh, do it from an EC2 machine. So I will go to the EC2 console and I will launch instance. I am choosing this Amazon Linux AMI because this includes some of the you know packages like you know docker php mysql so i'm selecting this uh, particular ami 
I'll choose everything as a default so I'm just straightly going to the review and launch let me log into my EC2 machine yes yeah I install this MySQL client now uh, go back to my RDS console um, the database is still creating the serverless database is still creating now you can see that database is now available um, okay another thing just I want to mention this um, uh, before connecting these things that the security groups we created the database security group is uh, previously is already been created this thing it's already having this um, uh, uh, some of the 3306 is available from the source everywhere you can for this connectivity option you can even provide the you know security group from source the EC2 machine security groups but just for the sake of this video I have uh, opened from everywhere but it's not needed you can uh, enable it from uh, only from your EC2 security groups so I am going to try to connect to the um, uh, MySQL uh, uh, or serverless DB from my EC2 machine now. Okay, um, now uh, this is uh, connecting from the EC2 machines or any kind of VPC is uh, it's, it's pretty simple. It's the similar things connecting to any kind of MySQL machines or any normal. Um, um, Aurora DB clusters, uh, Aurora uh, database clusters for MySQL. So only the thing is that, as I said, the 3306 support has to be um, uh, inbound connections has to be uh, open. So we already opened the inbound connections for our uh, DB security groups, and it is uh, open from everywhere. Uh, so uh, using this MySQL command, we can uh, readily available, readily connect to the our uh, or a MySQL uh, serverless DB cluster. So we, we connected to the database. Let's see the what are the databases available. Yes. Uh, test DB is available. This is something the sample database we created along with this uh, serverless DB cluster creation. So it was the easiest one, and uh, uh, we able to show you that you know I able to show you that yeah it, we can connect through the any kind of EC2 machine um, or any kind of uh, objects within this VPC now the, now the next point you know connecting from um, a local machine is little bit tricky so we have to use this SSH tunneling uh, the tunneling it will be happen from uh, the local machine through the EC2 machine uh, and then connecting uh, to the uh, MySQL our target uh, all of the serverless DB clusters so uh, here are the options we are going to use like it is uh, we will be using something SSH minus N capital N that is something uh, you know you know it says that you know do not execute a remote command and this is useful for forwarding ports and the L uh, they will be using the local port local port I can use any kind of port in my local machine so for this demo I will be using a port called 2345 and then uh, the RDS host the RDS host that is the endpoint of the RDS host remote point remote port uh, remote port will be um, the RDS uh, RDS port that is 3306 for MySQL if it is the PostgreSQL it will be 5432 
and then user at the right remote host this will be the uh, credentials for uh, our ec2 machine so that is user will be ec2 users and the remote host will be the ipv4 address of the uh, ec2 machines and the key and the, and the key is the private key that is the private the pim file uh, the connections uh, the private key for uh, connecting to the ec2 machine So I'll be uh, using this SSH tunneling from one uh, terminal and from the another terminal I'll be connecting using my MySQL commands. So in my client machine, um, clients machine in, uh, I have uh, installed this uh, MySQLs there, MySQL client there. So here this is the path of where uh, I have uh, installed my MySQL client. Now uh, I'll be um, st you know, running this command from one uh, my terminal session. So as I said I'll be using this local port as a uh, 2345. I'll be taking this RDS host endpoint. Uh, remote port is the database port for MySQL. This is uh, already be uh, clustered. This is 3306. Username it will be the ec users, and the remote source will be the IPv4 address of the ec machine. And I have to provide this um, uh, private key location. So let me execute this from a. Uh, uh, one uh, terminal machine terminal window and uh, thereafter I will be try to connect to the MySQL from another terminal window now the command I gonna run um, I have to provide the uh, host IP that is a local uh, private IP the, you can see that you know this is normal 127.0.0.1 so I'll be shooting this um, this uh, command now so what will happen it will uh, uh, take this local host IP it will connect to the uh, through the SSH tunneling it will connect to the EC2 machines and through the EC2, EC2 machines it will connect to the my target DB instance So I'll be using this test user as a database. Uh, the password I'll be providing. Um, H is here the local host and the P is the local port. Okay, it's connected. So let me uh, see the database. Yes, my test DB sample database is there. So we are good here. So that concludes the second way of connections uh, through my um, client machine.